Hello and welcome. This is Brandon Wendell, uh, Chartered Market Technician. I'm going to do a little analysis today on gold and silver. So we'll take a look at the big picture here. Gold on the daily chart and really kind of choppy. Not much of a trend whatsoever, unfortunately. Just the same as we were last week. We had a little bit of a rally here. Just went sideways last week and are just kind of hanging out just below this area of uh, selling pressure. It's not really a good supply zone, but just kind of selling pressure. Overall, still bullish pressure, but really not a strong trend for us to be able to trade. Continuing on in the four hour chart, you see that uh, starting on Thursday and Friday, I believe it was, towards the end of the week, we retraced a bit after we hit a Fibonacci extension of 100% of the previous impulse. So we're now sitting at the 61.8% retracement value, but with the uh, failure to get above 60 on the RSI and then the pullback below 40, it appears as though we're supposed to go lower here. So I think that we're going to be able to retrace more, at least to 78.6, which takes us to 1837.7, maybe even lower if the trend changes on us. On the 60 minute chart, there's really no demand until we get down to the origin of that move. So again, you see weakness because the momentum is bearish, lower highs, lower lows. So in the immediate time frame, if you're looking at uh, trading intraday or just a couple days, I'd be more on the bearish side than it would be on the bullish side of gold unless something changes drastically on this chart. All the way down to the 15 minute chart, now we've got a possible target opportunity. If we, you know, we did retrace back, we're not really moving down very fast. But if we do retrace to 1857.5, possible shorting opportunity there with the first target, 1839.4. Second target, just before the demand zone, 1829, you want to get out of 1831.5. Unfortunately, we may not be able to make it all the way up to 1857 as we had a little bit of consolidation and started breaking a little more to the downside. So we may just end up heading down rather than rallying up. So not great opportunities on gold. You might want to look elsewhere for higher quality. On silver, I was watching that uh, inverted head and shoulders last week, and it did close above and now retested the neckline, which is pretty typical. We get a lot of those fake breakouts and retests before we continue on in the move. So we'll see if that's able to happen. Never got above 60, so still weakness overall in trend. On the daily chart, you can see the reason why we stalled out is I had the supply zone marked off for you last week. We basically held it. And... We went above 60, which is suggesting that if we pull back, we're not going to make fresh lows on the pullback. We may not even be able to break the 61.8 retracement. Right now we're sitting at 38.2, and we did pull back a little bit, but we're still relatively bullish. It's just a correction. We'll probably make another run to the upside. It's just a matter of where we're going to bounce. It could be at the 24.350 or 24.085 uh, retracement zones. Looking at this on a closer picture, actually, again, that we were looking at daily here, now we're going to the four hour. We're seeing more bearishness. We have lower highs and lower lows. We have gone into bearish territory with the momentum. There's no real demand zones to hold us up. So that's the only problem about trying to jump in long for that inverted head and shoulders rally. I don't see where it's going to begin. So I might just have to wait for more confirmation before getting into this. You know, something solid to form as far as a good demand or something showing us the trend is shifting. I'm just not seeing anything yet. Now on the 15 minute chart, pretty much the same picture. We got a couple demand zones way down near that 78.6% retracement. But other than that, really not much going on here. So if you're looking for trading the shiny metals, you might want to look elsewhere if you're looking for high quality because gold and silver just really don't have it this week. And even on the 15 minute time frame, trying to fine tune entries, nothing there. So just be careful. Trade safe, trade well. Talk to you guys again next week.